Hi, I'm Tian Zhong from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the lead author on this paper and a part of a multi-institution collaboration with team members from MIT, NIST, and the JPL in the United States. Quantum key distribution, or QKD, is an essential technology in quantum communication, which allows the exchange of cryptographic keys between two users for encrypting messages securely. Conventional QKD typically uses binary encoding, such as two orthogonal polarization states of light, to represent 0 and 1. Binary encoding has a key capacity limited to at most 1 bit per photon. This 1 bit per photon encoding results in a low key rate of today's entanglement based QKD with common key throughput on the order of 10 kilobits per second. In this paper, we demonstrate an entanglement based QKD with high dimensional encoding that achieves up to 7 secure bits per photon and a significantly higher key throughput than existing technologies. Our approach is to encode multiple bits in each photon's time of arrival. Let's consider a pair of time-energy entangled photons. They can be efficiently generated from spontaneous parametric down conversion pumped by a CW laser. Although each photon's arrival time is completely random to the user Alice and Bob, Whenever one party detects a photon, the other party should expect the photon arriving at the same time. Depending on photon arrival times, relative to a well-defined reference time frame that consists of many time beams, Alice and Bob both can obtain a symbol representing a photon's arrival time beam. This symbol then constitutes the key. As the time frame size increases, this key can contain multiple bits. The major challenge of QKD with multi-bit encoding is to ensure the secrecy of these keys. For each bit, an entanglement measurement apparatus called Franson interferometer is used to detect the action of the adversary, usually called Eve, which would degrade the quantum coherence between the two photons. However, one interferometer can only check quantum coherence between two time beams separated by a specific delay. In order to include all possible combinations of time beam pairs, many, many Franson interferometers are required, which is not a desirable solution. Here, our method is to use only one Franson interferometer for security measurement. Although we cannot tell exactly how much information Eve had obtained, we can figure out an upper bound on the information leaked to Eve. Therefore, we obtain a lower bound on the number of bits that has been securely distributed. The experimental demonstration of our QKD involves the use of several state-of-art technologies, such as highly efficient tungsten silicide superconducting single photon detectors and an error correction code tailored for multi-bit encoding. Operating at telecom wavelengths, our QKD system achieves a secure key capacity of 7.4 bits per coincidence, which is about 20 times higher than the best entanglement-based QKD to date. In terms of the overall secure key rate, the enhancement is about 500-fold. Our work demonstrates a viable approach towards high-rate QKD when photon loss is inevitable. With future advancement in technology, our protocol could in principle deliver key rates up to 1 gigabit per second. Therefore, providing Internet users the ultimately secure encryption at fast speed.